and welcome to the Nexus. We are doing pack 10 of our Knight Rider build. So this is all you get in pack 10. We also get a free gift, which we'll have a look in a minute. And we're also in this, we are going to be doing issue 35. But these are all the parts that we get. We're working on the uh, the back axle, attaching it to the back of the car. And we've also got a wheel here and a brake drum as well. So we're going to be putting on... It looks like one of the back wheels and the um, the back axle as well. We're working it in the last issue, issue 34. But anyway, let's take a look at the free gift and then we can crack on building. Okay, before we do issue 35, we get our free gift, which is... A power bank and we also get uh, the lead to charge it as well now uh, in terms of power banks it looks really nice actually uh, you get to turn it on there I haven't used a power bank I've got to say in a very long time um, just because the uh, phones now and laptops and stuff actually hold charge better than they used to but it's a nice little gift it's really nice um, you can put it in there and then, uh, uh, and then charge it as you would normally. Um, but yeah, nice little thing. It's it's worth putting in in your pocket or in a backpack or something like that, just in case you need it. It's a nice little addition. I like the fact that it's got the uh, the kit form there, which is nice. But yeah, nice little free gift. So that's the free gift we get in pack 10. So anyway, let's carry on. We're doing issue 34, 35, sorry. Um, so let's get going. Okay, so these are all the parts that we get. We've got a spring, we've got a, a, cross a crossbar here, some parts for our suspension. We're also gonna need the back axle. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna position it like that. And we're gonna stick that one on there using GM screws and that one on that side with GM screws and that is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and do both of these now with GM screws. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so there we go. That's what it should look like at the end of that section. So now what we need to do is grab our car because we're going to be fitting one of these onto it. So let's do that now. Okay, so we've got two sections here. We've got one here which is going to sit just in there. And we're going to do this one as well, which will sit just in there, like so. Uh, and we're going to attach them from the underside, from uh, this side under here. We're going to attach them with HM screws on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, as you can see, they are both there. Next, we're going to grab our springs. And the springs are just going to go over the top, making sure you don't catch the wires, like so. Now, I'm still waiting for my drive shaft to come um they it still hasn't turned up so um we just have to play it by ear but um i'm, I'm hoping that it turns up very soon so the next thing we're going to do is going to place the axle over the top here so it sits on just like this now we're going to attach this section here with bp screws so i'm going to go ahead and do that now okay so we've done that now when it comes to doing the drive shaft which will run along here which i've got but i'm just missing some bits for it Obviously that will sit in there. I can still get in there. So I can still go ahead and do the rest of this. Anyway, next what we're gonna do is we've got NM screws, these ones here. We're gonna put one in there and one in there. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so we've done that as you can see, little screws that are in there. We're now gonna get our crossbar, which is here. And our crossbar is gonna sit just there. So we're gonna put a GM screw just in there. And another GM screw in that part. And then we'll have a final look and see what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so that is it. That is in secure in 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 insecure. It is secured now, right along here. And that is it for issue 35. We've now got the back axle in place. We've got the cross member as well, and the differential now attached, and the suspension in place. So that is it for this issue. Thanks for watching. As always, click the um, scan the QR code, I should say. Click link below if you haven't 
you haven't already, get yourself your own night rider and follow the journey with me. I've been Kev here at the Nexus, and as always, we'll see you at the next video. Take it easy. Yeah.